Hi everybody, Heather Soltis here in Toronto, Canada with your post-game edition of Studio 90. The U.S. men's national team just wrapped up their final international friendly before the start of World Cup qualifying with a scoreless tie against Canada. Let's hear what head coach Jurgen Klinsmann and some of the players had to say following the match. I, I think first half um, we were doing quite well in terms of possession and moving the ball around. I think what we were lacking was uh, kind of in the final third to create more chance to get down to the end line, to get crosses in, which we kind of trained on and uh, wanted to do that. Um, second half was more open. I think either team could have scored a goal, especially in the last couple of minutes on both sides. So uh, um, I think overall it's 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 fine, the, the result. Um, and uh, we are now in the process of 18, 19 days of a lot of work. And now we're obviously we're looking forward for the qualifiers. Any international match, you're going to have to deal with a few things. And I thought we dealt with things well today. I thought Clarence had a good, good game. I thought Edgar played really well as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was just it was a little bit of a frustrating night. Um, I don't think it was a great game overall in general, either side. So, um, you know, we're a bit disappointed we, we didn't come out of here with a win. But, you know, we, did, we didn't come out of here with a loss. So, um, you know, we didn't get frustrated and kind of just open ourselves up and, and, and lose this game. You know, I thought tonight we played pretty well. You know, we controlled most parts of the game. Fortunately, at the end, we got a little bit sloppy and almost paid the price. But having said it, we went on the other end and created quite a few chances ourselves. So, uh, nip and tuck game. It was good to get a clean sheet. But, you know, all in all, uh, we always want to come up here and, and try and win the game. But uh, a lot of positives to take out of it as well. There's a lot of us have played Canada before. And, you know, it's, it's always a scrap. It's always a battle against them. Um, not always the most beautiful game when you play against them. Uh, so, you know, I think, I think we did well to battle them. There was a last-minute lineup change prior to the match with Edgar Castillo stepping in for Fabian Johnson, who was out with a mild right calf strain. With little notice, Castillo helped the defense keep a clean sheet against Canada. It was funny in the pregame talk, you know, I said, you know, it's just the guys that are not on the roster, just always to remind yourself to bring your cleats, you know. <laughs> you never know what happens in warm-up, you know, <laughs> and suddenly the message comes and, you know, here goes a player down in warm-up. And from uh, being actually not even on the roster, he jumps in and being a starter because he's the ideal, obviously, sub for, for Fabian. And I think he did well. Because I wasn't going to play. So I, I, I was going to be in the stands, right? And uh, I was just there for watching him warm up. And then, um, like I said, they, Martin just came up to me and told me that, go get dressed because Fabian's not, I guess he's hurt or something. And so I just got dressed, man, and just started the game. Next up, the USA begins World Cup qualifying on June 8th in Tampa against Antigua and Barbuda. That game kicks off at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and you can watch on ESPN, ESPN3, and Galavision. That's it for Studio 90 from Toronto. Thanks for watching.